Well, good morning, everybody. It's Monday the 28th of December. We're nearly at the end of this weird year. Um, I'm just about to get dressed because we're going to go and check on Paul's mum, Sally, because she lives on her own. So, because she's um, on her own, and for mental health reasons, you're still allowed to bubble up with them and, and visit them. So, while we're not seeing my mum and dad, we can still see... Okay, you Excuse me, Sally. So, that was good. So... Yes, we're back now after a little break. So I'll be filming tonight um, a colouring chat. It was nice to have a break from filming, I will admit. I haven't coloured. I've read a book and I've watched a few bits on TV, some YouTube and uh, a few TV programmes. watched Call the Midwife Christmas Special, which was amazing. As always, love Call the Midwife. Um, I'm so tired, it's terrible. I don't know why I slept really well. I had to get up early this morning because Amazon decided to deliver a parcel really early. Like, I woke up at half past five and there was a notification saying it was going to come between quarter past six and half past eight. And then, so I went to the bathroom, did that good stuff, come back up. And about, I had a look at my phone at quarter past six and it was eight stops away. Um, when I actually looked at eight stops away, it was the other side of Seven Bridge, which is fine because, you know. And then it was like, it was here by seven o'clock. So, but it was something we desperately needed. We, it's very boring, but we needed some new roasting pans for having roast lamb dinner tonight. Mm. I've just got to get some mint sauce. So I'll get that from the shop um, down by Sally's. It's a spa down there. I'll nip down and get some. Uh, yes, it's usually yawning. So I uh, was up so early. Um, didn't, you know, you never go back to sleep properly. So today in the UK is a bank holiday because Boxing Day. Uh, fell on a weekend, it fell on Saturday, so that means the following Monday is a, uh, hol a bank holiday, so there's no work today. Um, work tomorrow, got three days work, and then of course it is New Year's Day, so another day off. Then a full week, and then a four day week because it's Paul's birthday, so I've got to order him some presents. So I'm thinking of getting a, uh, a, a macro lens for my phone. So, because I find it very hard to do photography with Jennifer around because I can't carry a, a big DSLR. I've usually got this little one with me, but I never really take any photographs on it. I only use it for the vlogging thing, which is great. But I thought I might get like a macro lens and, and try and do some photographs um, on my on my mobile because the, the, the phone camera is really quite good. Because for a while I did this thing called Blip Photo. Now, Blip Photo, you just go to blipphoto.com or just Google Blip Photo. It's a... a, a it's a journal. It's a daily journal, and you can you can buy extra things, or you can have a free account. I've got a free account at the moment. I am going to, if I can get myself into the habit of photographing every day, I will upgrade to the uh, premium account because it's not very much at all. And at one point, I did. I think one year I did post a photo every day for a whole year. As most of what I take is photographs of Jennifer, I don't want to put a picture of Jennifer every single day. So, for instance, I blipped yesterday. I don't do it very often. I did blip yesterday and the day before. The day before was a picture of Jennifer playing with a Play-Doh. And yesterday was, there was a beautiful rainbow over Risker. So I took a picture of that and put that up. Um, but with a macro, I can go in close up, especially when the flowers start coming out in spring. Um, going quite close up. It might be quite nice, so. But I'll, I'll see. I'm not going to spend a fortune on it. <sighs> I'm going to have to put myself a plan together for the new year for eBay and for filming. So, because it's hard to do filming on eBay on the same day because it ends up being really late, especially if I'm filming a colouring chat, which can take hour, um, like an hour to do. So, I'm going to say that I film on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, I'm going to do as much eBay as I can. Wednesday, I'll do a little bit of eBay, and then if I've got any flip throughs, I'll do those. And so on, I'm going to make a little plan. And there is just another project I want to start, uh, which I'm not going to tell you about yet. It's a secret, and I'll let you know if it actually amounts to anything. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time, but never got around to it. So, anyway, I'm going to get dressed and uh, get some clothes for Jennifer, and I'll take you with you. We're going to go down to, to Sally's, have a little walk around there as well and get some mint sauce for our lamb dinner tonight because you can't have a lamb dinner without mint sauce. Mm -mm -mm. Hey guys, it's Monday evening and I'm at the shed. I've just put some boxes up and I have got uh, one item to pull, probably in that box. Uh, I'm not really feeling that Jennifer's been kicking off, to be honest, so... <sighs> she was alright, she just doesn't want to go to bed. Um, but she, she's got to go to bed. It's as simple as that. She can't stay up all night. We've got work tomorrow, so... We could kind of like have a bit of peace. I got lots of boxes to break down, so I. Um, 
so she's kicking off at the moment in the house she's in bed so I just let her she was um took a colouring book up with her and it's got all sorts of stickers in it and I thought oh, no, I don't know I haven't there'll be stickers everywhere every morning and she screamed at me to get off her even though she had got all her toys that she wanted she's just she doesn't want to she doesn't like it when you say no so is this in this box or is it in another box i got to find it it is oh yeah it is it is in this one it's 47 um because she's not very happy so it is what it is I suppose she's I'm not feeling too good myself, I've got to be honest. Uh, I've got to sort out my account. I haven't done them for ages. It's nothing too complicated. It's just putting in a, a one return, um, anything that's been paid out to me by eBay, and then any postage I've done. I'm in the red this month, so. And it is my own fault if I haven't been bothering to list anything if you want list things very little cells so i'm still looking for this dress <laughs> it's in here somewhere i can't what number it is 40 something there are a lot of dresses there um, i'm gonna start working out my plan of action tonight is 47 and uh, then uh, as soon as that, you know, I'll know what I've got to do each night. That one's open slightly. That's that? 40, no, 28. None of them are in, in order, so it's in here somewhere. I know it hasn't sold at all, so. Um, I'll find it and then I'll come back. Got my one item. It was right at the bottom. It was one from the bottom. Um, so, yeah, it's all packed up. I'm dressed, ready to go. I'll drop that down at some point tomorrow when I finish work. Probably, to probably go for a walk. Um, like I said, I'm going to make my plan of action uh, for eBay. I've got some stuff on my phone and some drafts I need to finish off. And I've got a ton of stuff that needs to be photographed. So my plan is to work out what I'm going to do each day, uh, whether it's filming, eBay, or the third project I've got on the go. Or well, I've had an idea for, for a while, but I haven't started. So I'm going to go and start making a plan and see how I can get on. But that's it. I'm going to pop in now. It's freezing out here. I've got to be honest, it's absolutely ice cold. We didn't have any snow, but uh, that's just the way it goes. It's what it's like where we are. Sometimes we get it. If we get it, we get it, but we get it bad. Either a light dusting or really bad, or we just don't get anything at all. So I'm going to pop in because it's cold. I'm going to make a cup of tea because I need something to warm up. And I'll be back a little bit later to show you my plan of action. Hey guys, so I'm upstairs um, in the bedroom. Um, I've ridden in bed, Jennifer's asleep, uh, I don't know what time it is, it's probably getting on a bit now, and then again it's probably not, it is, oh it's 20 to 10, that's fine, I was just um, doing a colouring chat, and battery went out, and I've just realised I haven't got any batteries charged up, so I'm going to have to pause that for a minute, um, while I charge a battery halfway, I've got an itchy spot on my chin, and then I'll, I'll carry on with that. But I'm just using the, the Link Shine and the, the Security Jelly Rolls. It's just a very quick one to um, uh, put, uh, you know, just to have a quick catch up with everybody after Christmas, which is nice. I'm tired. Now it worked well. So I'll be long. I've got to set my alarm clock. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm actually going to put on YouTube and. Um, see if I can find anything. I'm probably going to call it a night here now tonight. Um, I've got work tomorrow and I have to work downstairs because Jennifer's um, at home so I'll be taking all my stuff down but at least I don't have to get up at 6am. So normally I get up around 10 past 6 but because I don't have to take her to nursery for half 7 I like to get up and have an hour to, to get myself together and that. I can actually get up at around 7 instead which will be much nicer for me so I'm going to set the alarm and now while I'm waiting for this battery to charge and I'm also going to watch something on YouTube I want to have a look for something um, photography related so I'm going to go and do that I'll see you tomorrow when I'll be downstairs working that's going to be odd 
At least I can just work in my pyjamas, I guess. I do have to go down the shop tomorrow to drop the post in, so we will go out then. If it's nice, I might take Jennifer with me and she can go to the park. We have something to do, but uh, we'll see what it's like. Anywho, that's it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. It's Tuesday night and I'm actually in bed. Um, I haven't vlogged at all today. The reason for that is Jennifer got up at half past two in the morning, this morning, and she wouldn't go back to sleep. She wanted to get up. Tried to keep her in bed. She was having none of it. I don't want to just like patch on my skin there. Mm. Anyway, I had to work. It was very difficult. So uh, she stayed downstairs and I had to come upstairs and work. Because she tries to sit on me all the time. Um, and I can't work with her sitting on me. So I was just doing emails because they understand that it's difficult because she just wants to sit on me. Um, so I just did emails today. And then she crashed out it must have been about 10 to 12 because i went down to the bathroom at 22 and she was still up there and she was pleased to see me she was like mummy mummy and she wanted to give her and i gave her a hug by the time i finished at half 12 i'm thinking it's very very quiet downstairs she's probably gone to sleep and i go down and sure enough she's lying in her travel cot and she spark out um so i i grabbed um some lunch and a cup of tea and i came back up at that and i tried to get some sleep I, I didn't sleep very much um got up an, an hour later to go to the bathroom and so on i saw i feel absolutely shattered so i haven't done anything today she's in her room now i popped in to see her when i came up and she was still awake she just had a little cry but she's gone quiet again so i'm hoping she'll settle down if she's just gonna sleep through the night then tomorrow i'll take her out to the park go for a walk get some fresh air <sighs> so I'm not really actually doing anything. I'm just going to go to bed now. So I do apologise that nothing happened today on Tuesday. It was a complete washout of a day. Not what I can do. It is what it is. Um, we've had no snow. There has been snow in Wales, but not where we are. It's pretty standard. We do get it, but it's very rare. Um, just because of the way we sit in the valley. But I'll keep you posted on that. It is supposed to snow tomorrow afternoon, so to see what happens. But uh, I have a post... A, item post to take down so we'll try and take that down and take her for a walk see what happens anyway i'll see you tomorrow hopefully tomorrow i will be a bit more rested and um be able to uh, do some vlogging hey everyone it is what day are we are now i want to say wednesday yeah wednesday jennifer slept brilliantly last night and that meant i slept really well which is great, so I feel a lot better today. I finished my shift, I've already done that. <coughs> but now, um, I'm gonna take Jennifer down the park while it's not raining, just get her some fresh air and um, some exercise, help me sleep tonight. And then I'm working on my year in review, um, which I'll do when we get back. But yeah, so it's all good so far, so we're gonna go down the park, so why don't you come with us? In the park, and it's freezing. I've just got a cup of tea from Greg's. And Jennifer decided she wants to put the empty container in the bin. She's ever so good. But there she goes. Come back then, baby. Good girl. She's eating a chocolate egg. It was a Paw Patrol one, not a Kinder one for a change. She likes the Paw Patrol ones. And they've got better toys in them. It's like little razors. <laughs> that nice? Nom, 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 nom. Eat up. And then, we, then we go on the slide. So it's very grey. So you can see, very grey, very cold, and it's practically zero. There were a few more people down here earlier, and there's a few dogs around, but they've all gone home. Probably because it's cold, <laughs> but we don't care about that. So we're. Uh... <coughs> what are you doing? You're eating your egg and having a cough. All right. Hang on. You coming up? Nope, oh, going for a run around as usual. Oh well. Stop it. Doing? It's nice. You on the slide? Ah, oh, she's actually doing something now. I'm really cold. She's not focusing, but she's coming to me. Come on, Anne. Good girl. Mm. Again, that side? Go on then. That side, yeah. What do you want? Where do you want me? The other side? Go 
on and up you go, I'll go the other side. I don't know why she wants me to the other side. I was that size, and you told me to come the other that side. Size, Daddy, mummy. Daddy, mummy. Daddy's at home working. Mommy. What are you doing? Ooh. Don't do that. Come on, down the slide. Ooh. 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 Don't put your mouth on there. Now, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> you clever girl. It's not sliding very fast, is it? Uh, Don't worry. Let's try again. Try again, alright then. Alright, this side. No, this side. No, this side. <laughs> I don't know which side I'm supposed to be. She keeps changing her mind. I'm going to watch you. <sighs> yeah, there's nobody here. We'll have to go home soon. It's getting freezing. Me nose. Come on then. I know, come on then. You're so cute. Dunk. Come on then. Well done. You going up or what? A bit further up yet. She wanted to push her trike. She's been up for a ride on it. So back home doing this now. Hold on with both hands then. Come on, hold on with both hands. You get back in here. Go on then. Right, back in now. I'm doing that. And she's playing with the little toys that we keep in the shed for when I'm actually working up here. And she's not focusing. I don't know what's going on with the focus on this. That's not working. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to have a look at it. But uh, yeah. you've got a uh, sort of a plainy rockety thing, haven't you? Anyway, yeah, we're in the garden now, playing with the toys. Choo choo. <laughs> That's better. Oh, <laughs> Len's needed cleaning it, eh, Jen? Choo choo. Have you got a train? <laughs> Whoa, who's that? Who's that? Where? Where? Oh no, one of those things. What's that for? You know what that's for? Look, it does this. It's more. Yeah, there's another one. I'll show you. It does this, remember? Jen? Well, when I can do it. I can't do it. Oh, 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 that? No, I can't do it today. Oh, the table's a bit wet, that's why. No, turn my right hand. I'm left handed. Why am I trying my right hand? Yeah, it's a spinning thing. There you go, that's a little bit. It's not very good. That's not working very well. A bag. A bag, yeah. yeah. It's all dinosaurs today, aren't you, Jen? Yeah. All dinos. Wow, horsey, horsey. Horsey, horsey. <laughs> What's that? That's a minion. Yeah, somebody gave it to you in the park, didn't they? A long time ago in the summer. You remember, don't you? Well done. Yeah. You lucky girl. Hi hey guys, it is now Wednesday evening. <clears throat> I've had a shower. Jennifer's asleep in bed. Paul's in bed. I'm going to do the last car and chat of the year, which is for New Year's Eve. I'm about to do that. And um, I'll tell you, that child will be the death of me. I've been looking at this blinking camera for ages. And she'd put it under the table. Every now and again, she'd take something that hides it under the dining table. She's done it with my phone, and my keys, and now my camera. <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> I, I was sitting up here thinking, where's my... I had to go and get my charger, because I left my charger downstairs for my phone. And I thought, where's my little camera? Where's my vlogging camera? And I'd been looking for it for ages. And I thought, I thought, I thought, I'll go get my charger a minute. I thought, and I thought, do you know what? I know I put it somewhere like the coffee table. And then I'd go out to get stuff from the Amazon man and put stuff in the recycling bin. I bet she's put it under the flipping table. So when I went to get my charger, I checked. And yeah, she had. So 
that's it for Wednesday. Thursday tomorrow. It's New Year's Eve. I have to work in the morning. Paul has to work all day. And then we'll just be having a nice dinner and we're not going anywhere. Um, in and a bottle of wine in the evening. Um, I might film tomorrow, I might not. It just depends on how I feel. And then New Year's Day we'll be going to see his mum. So that'd be nice. We were going to go tomorrow, but it's going to be late by the time we can get there with Paul working and late when we can get back. And then we got tea and Jennifer's usually in bed early. <sighs> <laughs> so we said we'll do it then. So I am going to do a bit of filming now and hopefully some filming tomorrow because I do want to film completed pages and my haul and I still got to finish my review of the year which will probably be filmed tomorrow or on the first day. My review of 2020 won't be going up to 2021. I've got loads of videos to put up. It's great really. I like it when at the beginning of the end of the month there's loads to go up. So I'm going to crack on with my last colouring chat of the month and of the year the of 2020 and i'll see you tomorrow morning again i gotta to work tomorrow but hey at least i get friday off hi guys it is thursday 31st of december it's new year's eve happy new year um yeah i finished my shift i finished now until monday the 4th hooray and um i'm gonna get jennifer sorted and we're gonna go down the park again it's a not a bad day, the sun's out, there's a few clouds, and uh, yeah, I've got to go to the shop, get a loaf of bread because I'm out of bread, and a few bits and pieces, and that's it really. So, I'm gonna go down and do that now, and then, um, yeah, take you with me down the park again. It'll be the same old, same old, but hey, gotta be done. So, yeah, it's good, it's nice to have finished work for the day, and uh, try and upload a video, but it's taking forever. It got as far as 7% and said it was over like two hours to go, so I cancelled it, started again. Now it's up to 12%, but it hasn't got any time on it, so who knows how long it's going to be. Um, I'm just going to leave it and see what happens when I come back and see where it is. Look how long my roots are now, look. Gosh, you see all the silver in it. Mad. Oh, I'm getting old. Oh, you know, never mind. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to get Jennifer ready, put my hair up out of the way, and we're going to go out. So we made it to the park. No, go up the stairs and down the slide, not up the slide and down the stairs, please. You want me to sit down? Yeah. Bossy, aren't you? Oh, it's alright, they're behind the fence, they can't get to you. Oh. They're behind the fence, look. Alright? So we made it to the park. I wanted to try my new lens out for my phone. But Paul said, because you're getting beers, why don't you take put everything in your rucksack? So of course, what did I forget? The attachment. So I can't use it. But at least the sun's out, it's a nice blue sky. It's not too bad. A few people about. No! Hi guys, it's New Year's Eve still. Uh, it's um, about 10 o'clock, I think. Uh, Paul's gone to bed. Jennifer's in bed, and I'm going to go to bed soon. We're not staying up soon, you're in. Because Jennifer could be up at 7. If we're up till 1 or 2 o'clock, we're going to be shattered in the morning when she gets up, and it won't be no good for anything. And if it's nice, we want to go out. So I'm just in here watching stuff about Jean Harlow on YouTube. So Jean Harlow was an actress in the 1930s. Um, she was the original blonde bombshell. Um, she was Marilyn's idol, though Marilyn reportedly, so I've heard, and this is said by some very, very high up Marilyn experts that I know. Marilyn never actually saw a Jean Harlow film, but Grace, her guardian, was a huge Jean Harlow fan. So Jean Harlow became her favourite because it was Grace's favourite. Um, uh, Jean was born in 1911 and died in 1937, so I can do a full video on Jean Harlow if you're interested. I, I do love Jean Harlow, I'm a huge fan, I've got a lot of her films, I've seen most of her films, some of her really early stuff as well. Uh, there's a few I haven't, I'm trying to track some of them down, I'm, I'm slowly trying to get all the films I want. And um, there are a few good books out there, well, the best book is, there are two books that I would recommend, which is Harlow in Hollywood and David Sten's Bombshell. And again, I can show you those. I think I've shown Harlow in Hollywood on, on the channel before. But I can do a full video on June Harlow. But I, I'm just sitting here watching it. And all I can say is Irving Shulman has got a lot to answer for. Because the myths and lies he perpetuated back in the 1960s with his biography. Well, I say biography. His piece of trash is still being repeated by people today. And it was picked up again in the noughties by... Oh, what's that terrible biographer's name who thinks he's it? David Brett. That's it. Awful, awful book. Sometimes, I'm pretty sure, and I'd have to check it, it feels like he's lifted paragraphs out of the Irving Shulman 
book verbatim. It really said it, it's so similar and not necessary, especially if you've read David Stern's biography, which is absolutely brilliant. And of course, you've got uh, Daryl Rooney's Harlow in Hollywood, which is amazing. Interesting side note on that. I, I got that book on uh, the films, the Gene Harlow films, which I'm going to start reading soon. And there's a lovely black and white picture of Jean on the cover and, and Jennifer saw her and she went, wow, who's that? It was so cute. I went, that's Jean Harlow. And then we were looking through other pictures and every time she saw it, she went, another Jean. Another Jean. She recognised her straight away. I think I've got a classic movie fan on my hands. I hope so. Well, we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm watching this stuff and I'm going to bed because, yeah, it's like, really? Irvin Shulman, you have a lot to answer for writing that scurrilous piece of trash that um, has since been very well debunked many many times over, but yet still people believe it. And this is why, if you want to read a good biography of Jean Harlow, read David Stenz. If you want a good photo book biography, read Harlow in Hollywood. Same as if you want a good Mar Marilyn biography, read Michelle Morgan, Donald Spoto, Gary Vitka Rubles. They are my recommendation. There's a few others, obviously. Um, but I can't, you know. I've read most of the books on Jean Harlow. Most of them. And some of them are just dire. And some of them are sweet little fan biographies. And some of them are very good. shake my head on it sometimes I really do Gary still waiting for icon volume three I know you've been working on it but we are still waiting and we cannot wait we want it we need it now um but yeah so um yeah so Gary's books he's actually had four out I think um icons volume one and two so if you just look on icon the life and times of Marilyn Monroe it'll come up on Amazon and his other ones were called Curse and Perficio which is the um, tiles that were outside the house and Michelle Morgan of course is the author of Marilyn Private and Undisclosed um, oh countless she's done so many books on her now um, and I can't remember any of the names other than that one but that's the main biography then there are other ones there's a book about um, being like Marilyn I can't remember the name there's the little, the, the little book of Marilyn or something like that I think it's called and then there's another one about her blue book modelling years, which she wrote with Astrid Franz. Stunning. And she's working, of course, on the next one, which is coming out in 2022, which is um, Marilyn in England, which is going to be fantastic. And I'm looking forward to that one very, very much. So, yes, I do believe that um, people need to be educated. So if you would like a, a blog on... Jean Harlow and the books I've got and Marilyn Monroe and the books I've got which I've done a few of those and Judy Garland because again there's a lot of misconceptions if you want me to go through which parts of the film Judy with Renée Zellweger as well ago were fake and, and what was fake about it I can do that too um, I've seen the film um, I also know a lot of people took a, a issue with that but um, I mean I'm, I'm hoping to start doing that on the other channel when I change it to movie music and more but who knows, I've got so much on and I've got a little project I'm going to be working on throughout this year. It's going to take a long time and I need to focus on it so I may not have time but I really want to so I'll let you know. And I'm, I'm going to go to bed after I finish my drink. I've got a glass of cider here and I'm going to finish that and then I'm off to bed. So I'll see you tomorrow when it will be 2021. Good morning everybody. It is January the 1st and here we are, New Year. Obviously nothing's changed, we're still all in lockdown but you know you've got to have hope. I guess. So, I mean, I've been all right. I'm fine. Um, we had a nice lie in. Jennifer got a bit late. She was awake in the night, to be honest. She was up at four o'clock wanting to get up, and we were like, no, put her back to bed. And to be fair, she went to sleep at some point. Uh, she wasn't crying or yelling when I went back into my room, though, because I listened out for her for a bit, just in case. She just settled down on her own, probably played with her toys. Um, but she didn't get up to past 10, so Paul's taking it. <coughs> we're going to have to wear her out today. Paul's just taking her out. To, he's gone to the shop. And he's taking her out and then um, after lunch we'll all go for a walk along the canal. I want to go up the canal for a walk because uh, I don't really want to go down to the park again. I've been down there two days in a row. But we will go out for a walk. It always feels nice. Um, I've got my first book of the year that I'm going to be colouring in, which is uh, Hannah Carlson's Daydreams. I do have a, a sort of plan 
which will have been in my review of the year, which I'm hoping is up, but I haven't actually filmed it at this point. I'm going to be filming it tonight. It'll probably be up sometime during the middle of the night, I swear. Anyway. Um, anyway, my plan is to plan the month to an extent. There is no fixed formal plan on what I'm going to colour other than I want to finish off one of my whips or do some work on one of my whips. If it's at a finishable state, very close to being finished, then I want to finish it. So for instance, I've got the Johanna Batford calendar here. I've nearly finished January, but I haven't done it. And it's January now. So I think I'll try and do that one this month. And then February, I might be finished Imagine Morphia if I haven't done it this month, because I still might, it depends. But the plan is to finish one whip. Two, colour in one unused Jade Summer books, because I've got so many of them. But Jade Summer books, I've got almost 100, if not 100. So it's to colour in one of the ones I haven't coloured in uh, every month. And the other one is to colour in a book that I haven't coloured in from the other shelf. So that's three pictures. Everything else is whatever I want to do. So it can be in a book I've used or a book I haven't used. It doesn't make any difference. So the book I've chosen to do one I haven't coloured in this month is Daydreams by Hannah Carlson. So I'm only missing Spirit Animals now, so I will try and get that soon, but that's the only one I'm missing. And of course she will have a new one out soon. So I'm gonna have a look through this and decide what one I want to color. And I'm gonna start doing that now while they're out. Oh, that crown's nice. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't, just, I haven't really looked through this one. So I'm gonna have a look through this and decide what I want to color. I've got my Black Widows here, because at the moment I love these, these are my favourite pencils. I love my Prismas, I love my Polychromos, but the Black Widows are the ones, I think it's just because they've got so many choices of colours and they're, you know, so different. You know, what with the, uh, now we've got the Monarchs as well, I really, I really do like them. Excuse me playing with my hair, I'm just being silly. So I'm going to start that while they're out. I've got a nice cup of tea and then I'll have some lunch in a bit. Well, I'll get dressed because I'm not dressed yet obviously and we will go for a walk along the canal i'll take my phone camera and my funny lenses because i got my lenses yesterday um like i said i didn't take them i got my macro and my fish eye and my wide angle so um you know yeah i might, might, I might take them up and see which one i want to use I, I, if, I, if i find something i want to take a picture of you know it's very difficult with jen but it'll be nice to go out for a walk so i'm going to do that so that's the plan for today so far obviously i've got to finish um collating the rest of the information for the um Review of the year. Now last night I spent a long time trying to sort out my Goodreads shelves because I haven't completed a Goodreads challenge for the last few years because Jennifer makes it very hard to read and I'm determined to do it. So last year I set it to 75 and I think I read 57, which is very low for me. I'm gonna set it to 75 again and I'm determined to do it. I've already uh, got a book that I, I've just started, which is the, the Jean Harlow films. I'm gonna read that first. I've only read the first chapter and it's really interesting so I don't think that's going to be a problem but I'm trying to clear up my to be read shelf on Goodreads just simply because a lot of those books I downloaded and when mum got her new kindle because there was so much on it I just went and deleted it all I deleted absolutely everything except for a few specific titles that I wanted to keep so for instance Michelle Morgan's books are on there and I've got my the Dave Turner books because I like those but um, pretty much everything else I've deleted. So I'm deleting everything off my to-be-read shelf, unless it's something I actually own. So it's taken a while, but I'm getting there. I've also deleted stuff off of my reading list that I'm not reading, I've stopped reading from whatever, I've just got rid of it. And I'm gonna start this new year fresh, and I'm going to try and get my TBR down. Um, there was over 700 books on it, and that's not all of them. I've got a lot of books on top of the cupboards. Now most of those are on there and I've, and I've obviously left them on. But the idea is that I get rid of what's on that two TBR. I want it down to less than 100 if I can. So I'm going to read what, as much as I can this year. But that's not going to stop me from colouring either because I like my colouring. So what I'll probably do is colour down here with Paul once I've once put Jennifer to bed. And then when I go to bed, when I go upstairs, I'll probably read or do my colouring videos. I'm making a plan on what I'm doing. So my plan at the moment is Monday will be uh, filming, Tuesday will be eBay, Wednesday will be Project, Project Angel. That's what I've called it, Project Angel. There's a reason for it. And then oh, Thursday will be filming and Friday will be eBay. Now, with Project Angel, I'm only going to do little bits. I'm not, I'm not going to spend the whole evening on it. I'm not going to spend hours and hours. It's just going to be a little bit at a time. And... Uh, 
because it's a big project that I've wanted to do for a long, long time. I think I only ever told one person about this project and that was years ago. And that was you, Michelle Morgan. So if you remember what I told you back at your book launch for Private and Disclosed, you'll know what Project Angel is. But uh, it's a very big project and it's going to take me a very long time. So I've got a lot of stuff to do, so I'm going to do what I can first and then I'm going to start reaching out for help. Um, but for now, that's it. That's six minutes and a half of waffle. I'm going to get colour in and I'll see you later. So it's New Year's Day evening, Friday evening. Jennifer's asleep, Paul's gone to bed. We did try and go out in the afternoon, but Jennifer was playing up something chronic. She we, we didn't want to go out and then she did. So we were going to go and feed the ducks. She wanted to feed the ducks. So we got halfway up the hill, she wanted to go home, so we started going back home. Then, no, no, I want to go up the hill, so we went back up. Then she started playing hide and seek within, by the bins, because all the bins are out, because they're going tomorrow. Um, and then she wanted to go home, and then she wanted to go up again. So we got as far as the prince, the, by the beer garden, basically. <coughs> and then, <coughs> excuse me, she wanted to go home. So we started going back and she wanted to play hide and seek in the bins. And then she decided she wanted to go up the ducks. And by this point we'd had enough. And we said, no, we're going home now. You want to go home? We're going home. Well, she had a tantrum. And we said to her, look, you had a chance. You had your chance four or five times to get up the canal to see the ducks. And you did not want to go. And then it was, I want to see nanny daddy. So she wants to see nanny and granddad. All right, we can't go and see them. We're not allowed. I want to see nanny. Ugh. So about 40 minutes later, she was fine and calm again and happy and playing and watching TV. But oh, it's horrible when it happens. She's sound asleep now, which is good. She had a later night stay because she got up late this morning. I am going to be doing some sorting and videoing. So I've got to do my completed pages. My haul, such as it is, it's very small this month, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. And my wrap up for the month, or for the, for the year, my overview. So this is how it's looking at the moment. So... Most of the books I've put away, that's my complete pages pile, that's part of my haul pile, there's some of those in there, I've got to go into it. That's got to go in the haul pile, I think, and these two, that one's got a whip in it, that one I haven't started, so that's got to go back on the shelf, that one's got to go in the whip pile. It's hard going. Did I start one in this? So that's got to go in the whip pile as well, because I started one in that, once I've done that, so... I'm going to get this done and then I will see you tomorrow and hopefully we'll actually manage to get out because we're supposed to be going to Paul's mum tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Good morning. It is Saturday. I enjoyed making my videos last night. They're all made so I'll be putting them up periodically throughout the day and the next couple of days. Yeah, I've got one for tonight, one for tomorrow and then this one on Monday and then it'll be a colouring chat on, on Tuesday as normal. So that's brilliant. It's all working out well. We're off to Paul's mum now just to text she's okay have some lunch with her because she's on her own we are permitted to see her because of uh, mental health reasons we try and go over once a week on a Saturday to make sure she's okay our printer's knackered um, we have had it a while but it's, the nozzles are blocked and I've tried nozzle cleaner several times it's just not cleaning so printers are so cheap these days I've just ordered a new one I've ordered a HP instant ink one so I get the free trial which I'll use and then I'll have a look at the packages if they're too expensive for what I use I won't bother I'm, I might just you know you know because ink is expensive and I've got a lot of colouring pages I want to print up so I will be using a fair bit and I like to print up photos of Jennifer and the only reason I'm doing it is because it's too awkward to get the printer set up where it is at the moment because of Paul's work set up but this one is wireless so I can set it up on the, on the, the dining table connect it to my laptop and I can sit up here and print stuff up downstairs or I can take my laptop downstairs sit at the on on the, on the at the table and just print to my heart's content so not that I can print up hundreds of photos it's just that every now and again I like to print up a photo of Jennifer to give to my mum and dad and to Paul's mum and there are a few I want to do so that's it really I am now going to go to Paul's mum's for some lunch and see how she is I mean he's get milk from the shop so we'll be Jennifer will be happy. We'll be doing the shops. So, yeah. Let's go. Hey everyone. So in the end, Sally had to come over to us because the battery in my car's dead. It's going to be fun because you've got to go nursery on Monday. <sighs> Get it sorted. It's just uh, my car, the battery's in such an awkward place. I've let someone out to do it. I can't do it myself, which is a shame. So we're now up at the canal. 
don't know if I actually made it. She fell over on the way up and wanted to go home, but she's all right now and she's looking for ducks to feed, so. I'm just cold and fed up. It's nice though, it's nice to get some fresh air, so. I'm sitting on a slightly damp rock, but I will be getting changed when I get home, so it's not a major issue. It is nice to get out, it's, it's not brilliant. But, um, lots of birds, a bit cloudy there, some blue sky. There's the pub and Jen and Paul. Looks nice over that way. It is rather chilly, so. Bless her. Looks like they're miles away, they're only up the road, only about a couple hundred yards, it's not very far at all. Uh, yeah, I texted my mate, Carl, who does my car. I haven't heard back from him yet, but it is Saturday, he's probably at work anyway, so you know we work Saturday, so I'll probably hear from him later, which is fine. <sighs> Hello, <you're there. sighs> oh! It's a lovely day, a bit cold, but... <sighs> hear the water rushing? Jennifer wants to throw sticks in the river. Well, the canal. So it's the evening, back home. I'm gonna put a video up now before I go to bed. It's getting on, it's even 11 o'clock. We've been watching, um... What are we watching? We watched Mass Singer. Never seen it before. It was funny. And then The Voice. Um, we're in bed now, but we're watching it on like plus one. I'm going to break out the CD player, put the headphones on, turn the light off and listen to this. Because I haven't yet. So, it's got Great Day for the Irish, Waltz will sing Americana, Hold That Bulldog, Pennies from Heaven, Johnny One Note. Got some great songs on here. Great songs on here. What Down With Love song, I love that song. So yeah, I'm going to have a listen to that. Got the first one as well. But that's it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey everyone, it is Sunday. Um, not a lot's happening today. It's a pretty chilled out day. Um, it's sometime in the afternoon. I have no idea. I haven't even got a drink up here. I'll go and get one in a minute. And I've just had a shower because I was feeling a bit manky. Um, as my car's not worked, uh, my dad took me shopping. So he didn't come in the house. He just came shopping with me. He bought a few things as well. Uh, Jennifer stayed at home with Paul and she played played over a bit and then they did some painting and while I was having a shower so I could have a bit of peace because I don't get any she'll come in and watch me shower if I let her uh, which is always a bit weird he's taking her down the park for a bit it's, it's not wet it's just very cold so I've put the heating on for them so when they come back they can be nice and warm and I'm just going to dry my hair and I've put my video up today, which is my completed pages. I might put a flip through up later if I can get it up. And I'm going to transfer some stuff from the computer downstairs up onto my laptop. And what it is, is it's colouring pages uh, to print out. Because what we've done is we've ordered a new printer, because our printer's broken. It's um, wireless and it connects through the Wi-Fi thingy. I don't know how it does it, but it's very clever. And I'm going to use, set it up on that laptop um, and I can put it on, bring my laptop down, put it on the big table and just print away and it'll be a lot easier. And it's one of these instant ink things I'm going to try. We'll see how it goes anyway. But yeah, I'm going to go get a drink and then I am going to dry my hair and just chill out till they get back and maybe try and have a little rest. Hey everyone, it's uh, Sunday night so it's the end of the vlog. As you said, I haven't vlogged today because nothing happened. Got back from shopping, I had, like I said, I had my shower and potted around and then watched telly with Jennifer, bath Jennifer, had dinner, went to bed. She's down to sleep. I'm gonna do some stuff on my laptop. I've got my, now it's here, uh, my little thumb drive here. Which has some photos of Jennifer on it and uh, some other bits and pieces I'm slowly transferring from the big computer so I can get it. But, um, Clear, cleaned up a bit so that it works better and uh, yeah that's it really and I'm going to watch some YouTube I'm actually watching some booktube I'm watching Binge Reader which is a girl named Missy used to watch her all the time of course I haven't been reading that much so I haven't bothered now I'm reading a bit more so may even start doing reading wrap ups and reviews again um, if you're interested in that let me know um, I've read two books already this year, we're on day three, and I've, I'm, I've started my third. Well, actually, I've got quite a few on the go, but I mean, 
these are just Kindle books that I'm reading just because they're easy. I'm not going to be doing book hauls. I'm not buying books. I might buy one book this month, I think. I want to read something by Stephen King because I was reading loads of his at one point and then stopped. But uh, depending on the size of it, depends on whether or not I get it all read in, uh, in a month. Some of them are massive, as you know. But that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, weekly vlog. We'll start it all again tomorrow when we go back to work. And I have no car. So I have to walk Jennifer down the road. Um, my mechanic friend is coming on Wednesday to, to do it. Because he's, he's rammed at the moment, it's understandable. And he's got a lot, he takes it to his house, takes a battery off, charges it, brings it back. It's, it's fine. It just means I've got to walk Jennifer to nursery. And I... Do me good the walk, man. Don't get me wrong. It's just that I... We, just got a rush it's hard to get her up but we'll manage just have to get up half an hour early i'm just going to set the alarm now so i will see you in the next video tomorrow well this will be up on monday and i'll be filming color and chat so i'll be seeing you fairly soon but yeah if you want to see some book information and reviews um let me know i can certainly do them not just marilyn or film books but general fiction some of it's quite old i've had it around for ages but um book two is about just reading it's not about reading necessarily new stuff so i will see you all again soon bye <laughs>